Traders, Mark from Trading Market Technicals. Just wanted to uh, send out a quick little video uh, for today. Wanted to show you um, a couple things on the website that um, uh, great resources. If you go into the main homepage at tradingmarkettechnicals.com, go into resources and you'll see economic calendar. There's a few uh, emails that I have received saying, you know, where can I find um, good data? Well, this is a great tool to see what is coming out for the day. You can click on and highlight it, and it'll give you uh, a little more in detail of what's to come. Today is Tuesday, February 3rd, so we have ISM New York data coming out at 9.45, factory orders, and uh, Fed Bullard's speech comes out at 10 o'clock. So you can see that there's a lot of good stuff. After 10 o'clock, really, uh, you get some treasury auctions that are coming out here, uh, vehicle sales, if you're into uh, trading the autos, a little different. Uh, but again, we're right now, uh, we're trading indexes, so... Uh, be aware that between now and 10 o'clock, uh, we're going to get some, some orders here, okay, um, some announcements on some of these numbers. So I like to look at every day and see where there may be a risk event, and then that's up to you to decide if you want to um, either shut the beast off or, or filter it through. Remember, um, if you leave it on and it spikes one way or the other, uh, it would not take the trade anyway because it, it would need to either come back in again and retest these areas, um, whether it be to the upside and or to the short side. So remember, so don't be afraid that it's going to take a trade on a big spike because it would not do that. So, um, you know, that's up to you to decide. And then after the announcement, you know, usually if you do want to shut it off, you can wait 15, 20 minutes, let the volatility subside a little bit, and then look for your next entry, okay? Now, uh, I want to talk to you briefly on what is going on. We've uh, spoke in the room, uh, mentioned in the room, and if you're not in there yet, please send an email to support. It is free, and obviously we will send you a username and password to enter the trading room. So you can see here we have a five-minute chart of the SPY, and the markets have been in ranges, and this is not the good volatility that we want to see. Right? We want to see stocks that are starting, excuse me, uh, index that are starting to trend, we have an increase in high um, ATR, average true range. If you looked at a daily chart, you'd see it at elevated levels uh, at its highs. So that, that means that we are going to need to obviously um, increase stops. And, of course, uh, that's where the tick value comes in that we sent out over the weekend. Okay, And that's going to filter out a lot of these large spike moves. When it, we don't want to take a, a move where uh, we get a large, extreme large candle and then enter into a trade where we just get stopped out. So that's why where that tick value um, really comes in. Now, the last three days, we had no trades, which is fine. That's exactly what the beast is doing, is picking high probability trades. And even as traders, um, I myself uh, wouldn't be taking any trades as well because this is not the type of trading that I like to do. If you're a scalper, you're having a field day. You're having a great time. But again, everything will subside and then start to head back to normal again. Um, we are uh, up in the pre-market. I like the fact that the futures held the overnight gains in Asia and in the UK. So um, we could be headed higher, at least in the short term, for a couple of days. And then uh, don't forget, non-farm payroll numbers come out on Friday. It's a very big number. Uh, that comes out at 8.30 before the market opens, so by the time the market opens at 9.30 and the beast starts trading at 9.40, the volatility would have at least subsided a little bit prior to the announcement, so therefore you have no reason not to turn it on, okay? I uh, hope it helps. Uh, again, I'll be hitting you out with some videos here and there just to make sure that we keep everybody on the right side of the trade. And again, guys, if uh, one of you are not in the room, send an email to support and we'll shoot out a username and password. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the room. Take care.